We've just gone missed on a VOR approach into Martinsburg. Our previous two videos, which were just raw footage of the setup and shooting of the approach with no voiceover, are on the Flight Insight channel page. Now, we'll be practicing entering a hold and making appropriate wind corrections to stay in the protected area of the hold. We have the breadcrumb feature on ForeFlight active here, and you can see the previous flight track where we did a parallel entry to the course reversal from the 204 radial. Now, we're flying direct to the VOR, once again getting ready to do a parallel entry and hold. When the flag flips from to to from, we fly our outbound heading of 110 degrees, which we're basically already on, and we start timing outbound and twist the OBS to the inbound course of the hold, 290 degrees. Normally, a lot of us are taught to fly a one minute outbound leg, but in reality, we want to time our outbound legs to allow our inbound leg to be one minute. Also, we'd like to give ourselves more time to maneuver to re-intercept the inbound and take a measure of our wind correction, so we'll do about a 1 minute and 45 seconds outbound. We make a right turn around to our intercept heading 30 degrees more than the 290 inbound course. All turns in the hold are at a standard rate, which we make by referencing the hash marks on the turn coordinator. When the needle on nav 1 centers up, we turn inbound 290 degrees. It becomes clear that we're being pushed to the right of the inbound course with a wind out of the south. In order to hold our needle centered for that 290 course, we need to fly a 280 heading, a 10 degree wind correction to the left. After passing the VOR, we start our outbound turn, again very important to maintain a standard rate, which will give us a 180 degree turn in one minute. Now to correct for wind on the outbound, we need to triple our inbound wind correction. We turn 10 degrees into that southerly wind inbound, so we now want to fly 30 degrees into the southerly wind on the outbound leg. The outbound course is 110, so we actually want to fly about a 140 heading. Now as you'd expect, this lopsided wind correction means our ground track, as shown by the breadcrumbs on foreflight, isn't a symmetrical oval like the racetrack pattern drawn on the approach plate. Why are we purposely making a strange looking pattern? It's because the outbound wind correction is correcting for not just the outbound leg itself, but the two turns. Remember that our turns are always standard rate, one minute for a 180 degree turn. We don't take wind into account on either. On the outbound turn we just did, the wind out of the south kind of pinched our ground track smaller. We need to fly a wider outbound leg because when we go to make the inbound turn now, the wind will cause us to turn wide. It's only by tripling our wind correction that we can fly two standard rate turns and expect to intercept the inbound course again. We once again fly 280 to track inbound, and now we can make some fine adjustments to our inbound and outbound wind corrections, and also to how long we spend flying outbound. We'd like to time our outbound leg such that our inbound leg takes about a minute, the standard for a holding pattern like this. Hopefully the demonstration of the ground track from the breadcrumb serves as a good explanation of why we do a triple wind correction. To get insights on more IFR flying, check out our Flight Insight Instrument Ground School today at the link here and in the description. See you there!